old blue rose of Helium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. For if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that would uproot it. Blue Rose of Ilium, you have blossomed in a tower of glass and plastic. But beauty under glass is untested and weak. Where are your honored dead? To fertilize the ground that you might grow strong. On the rocky plains of Tachanka, I will build you a garden from the bones of my ancestors. Blue Rose of Ilium. Leave eternity unembraced and grapple in the glorious struggle that is us, here and now. I am speechless. Not with blood rage, but with love. And I stand here, humble and mute, to offer you a home. Come to me, Blue Rose of Ilium. Let our three hearts beat as two. What do you want? Sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. He's harmless. Which, I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. It doesn't seem common for a sorry to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high-tech noise. I guess. Seems a bit dirty, though. Ah, oh, it builds character. Is it just me, or do the other Krogan not like me? Oh, there's some concern about me bringing in a non-Krogan. I had to talk to the chief. It's not a deal. Wait, so they don't even want me here? Who cares what they want? I want you. That's all that matters. I don't know if I can do this, Char. Hey, now. My blue rose of Ilium always stands strong to reach toward the sun. Okay, I'll manage. Just no more poetry. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian war effort. Oh, that's a lovely idea. I really appreciate management doing it. My husband's away on duty right now. Oh, you're bonded with a Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. Oh, well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to fight. Excuse me? Oh, I didn't... Uh, 
Well, I, I just... My husband is risking his life to protect us right now. I'm so sorry. That was thoughtless and... Uh, I'm so sorry. No, no, I understand. Sometimes I'm surprised myself. Anyway, would you like to make a purchase? Yes, yes, of course. Anything for our troops. Looks like a last message. He's asked that it be delivered to an Asari named Araba on the Citadel. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, Blue Rose of Ilium. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side, a weed beside your beauty, twining together in the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. But if my last days must be with Krant instead of kindness, Still, I will remember the perfume of your scent, and the soft touch of your petals. <sighs> Let my broken bones build a wall around your garden, so you and the flower we planted together can grow safe and strong. Thank you. Uh, I should... I need to go. 